lights of the night. The red lights face a bold reflection slash from the skeleton of the earth. Across the vision of mind's eye and the deep imprint of teeth into flesh a lick salt causes attention to be released a grip a scrape across pinching deep the flesh, flesh the membrane pushing the flesh and gathering further, it pulling so that a tongue the bone can provide the moisture required within the red remnants of there is no sense that of touching in the recesses which you can imagine the folds and the outline I want in warm all of you as the flesh fragrant moisture there can be from no deeper union cynical a mouth in its abundance how can I lips express writhing and trace the impression along the depth pressure makes of wanton the shadows the flesh of skin lie still scarred in the darkness within the blue morning, steel can light I can mean casts it's anything more penetrating the glow flavor of flame scent. on the center of the golden Blue. of the motion afternoon Our circular night here deep and resound sure breathing soul in its cause together mentioned Purpose of resonance, one beautiful single unknown sound.
your warmth around
ese plazo que se le dio a Saddam Hussein para que abandone Cuba y desentendió México para This past weekend, in a last-ditch effort, the Secretary General of the United Nations went to the Middle East. Navega hoy a la Corazada de USS Wisconsin. La tripulación está en estado de alerta, lista para entrar en acción a solo segundos de su vuelo. Se emitió una orden de ataque. El hombre de los hombres de los hombres de los hombres, poor excuses for Americans wearing their tiny, round, wire-rimmed glasses. We are the people have lost the great opportunity to show ourselves in the world that we have the audacity to think beyond war, that we can evolve as people beyond the archaic notions of fighting and killing and dying as a way of solving problems. And finally, I share tears of self-doubt, Mr. Speaker, because I sat there in my living room crying, trying to figure out was there any other thing that I could have done, any other stone that I could have turned to try to prevent this incredible madness. California. To try to prevent this incredible madness. Chacho del Mar, con un alcance de más de 450 millas náuticas. Probablemente hay cientos de tomahawks apuntados hacia Bagdad hoy. Este barco está al frente de las fuerzas norteamericanas. Nuestro objetivo es que la fuerza de Saddam Hussein se sitúe igual. And trying to make things happen is just what people were doing in the front of the White House. The team will have been the women's fast for peace. Take good speed from death. Be open to the voice of God. Be open to the prayers of the people for peace. We are fasting because we are hungry for peace. We are fasting because we are hungry for justice. We pray mightily that your heart be open. They're motivated. They're scared. Están motivados, básicamente, pero sienten algo. Decidimos que las sanciones solo no podían hacer que Saddam se saliera de Cuba. Good speed is committing herself to a 30 day fast after the threat of war dies down. Others organizing include the Ojibwe Indians from Minnesota. They've been being the peace drum for the past two days. And Ann Olson says they will continue. It is a hard to get to speak prayer spoken in the language we all can understand and pray for God and the Spirit. So that's what it's about. Across Pennsylvania Avenue on the sidewalk in front of the White House, several dozen Peace Corps volunteers demonstrate their opposition to war. David Corson used to be an agricultural volunteer in Morocco until he was evacuated. We were evacuated. From Morocco, from Mauritania, from Tunisia, and from Pakistan. And all of what was missing was, well, I guess we're about to start a war, and, uh, the peace for Not far away, hundreds of demonstrators chant for what has become the motto of the peace movement. No blood, no oil. After several were arrested for civil disobedience, the next group sat down to take their place. Most of the faces were very young. As it turns out, they were high school and college students worried about the future. Pacifica News in Washington. This is more the There were marches in Pacifica, not just about every large city in the nation today, and in hundreds of smaller cities and towns. We also have reports tonight in Atlanta, the home of slain civilized leader Martin Luther King Jr., and from Chicago, which is emerging as a major center of anti-war protests.
para que se va a haber ordenado a nuestras fuerzas a comenzar la batalla poder prevalecer con la mayor rapidez posible y con el mayor grado de protección posible para que los hombres del ejército americano se estuviesen protegidos yo le he dicho al pueblo americano ya anteriormente que esto no va a ser otra guerra de Vietnam y le repito de nuevo esto aquí esta noche This country had hoped the use of force could be avoided. Use of force could be avoided. Use of force could be 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 avoided. Hope the use of force could be avoided. Regrettably, the Americans have failed to do so. The use of force could be avoided. Regrettably, we now believe that only force will make him lose. Regrettably, we now believe the use of force could be avoided. The use of force could be avoided. Only force. We now believe that only force. That only force. That only force. The use of force could be. That only force. The use of force could be avoided. We now believe that only force. That the use of force could be avoided. We now believe. That only force is in historic moment. Hopeful that this fighting will not go on for long, and that casualties will be held to an absolute minimum. This is in historic moment, with one hand tied behind the back. This is in historic moment, ending the long era of conflict and cold war. The act of fight with one hand tied behind the back. The act of fight with one hand. Tied behind the back. He has to fight with one hand tied behind the back. Listen to Hollywood Huddleston. Marine, listen to Hollywood Huddleston. Listen to Hollywood Huddleston. Listen to Hollywood Huddleston. Now we got to save your ass. Interested in making some money. 
over there, no man grabs him. Now, you actually met with Tom Arnold. Flies and shit. Yeah, over there, no man grabs him. Yeah. Motherfuckers all nice. Flies and shit. Over there, no man grabs a beat you, motherfucker. Man, I'm where I was suggest to me that he still feels the need to really create this boogeyman, boogeyman to justify his actions. So a kind of a very unseemly machismo behind the way the president uh, has approached this thing from the very beginning, but also a kind of a very unseemly machismo behind the way the president uh, has approached this thing from the very beginning, some sort of uh, criminal boxing man. 
President by the name of Abraham Lincoln finally come to the conclusion that he had to sign the Emancipation Proclamation, but I wouldn't stop there. I would even come up to the early 30s. 
and see a man grappling with the problems of the bankruptcy of his nation. Come with an eloquent cry that we have nothing to fear but fear itself. But I wouldn't stop there. Strangely enough, I would turn to the Almighty and say, if you allow me to live just a few years in the second half of the 20th century, I will be happy. Now that's a strange statement to make because the world is all messed up. We're beginning to relax. The nation is sick. The following is an article that appeared in the Oakland Tribune on January the 11th, 1991, written by Brenda Payton. The article is entitled, The More Things Change. The beat of the war drums is deafening. The war clock ticks down with terrifying accuracy. And for African-American soldiers in the Persian Gulf, it seems that the more things change, the more they stay the same. Black soldiers returning from the front in World War I faced virulent racism at home. Numbers were attacked by mobs and lynched for wearing the uniforms they had worn in, de in defense of their country. Segregation and job discrimination were legal, and black people were routinely denied the right to vote in southern states. But that was 1919. Black soldiers who served in World War II are actually uh, the segregation the, uh, of the armed the forces it is, only is a in missile terms attack. of still segregated society at home. They were even barred from the rest and redistribution centers at national hotel resorts that welcomed returning servicemen. In the words of Hannibal Cox, a member of the Tuskegee Alabama Airmen, we were battling for the chance to help preserve the democratic ideal abroad when we knew it didn't even exist at home. But that was 1940. Black soldiers who served in Vietnam and the Vietnam War suffered disproportionate casualties, even as thousands of black Americans marched, organized, and died for their civil rights. Black servicemen were fighting for the freedom of South Vietnam as water hoses were turned full blast on black people attempting to register to vote. But that was 1964. In October, black soldiers again, in disproportionate numbers, were shipped out to the Persian Gulf to face the Iraqi army in Operation Devil As President George Bush vetoed the 1990 Civil Rights Act, the legislation destined to counter several disastrous U.S. Supreme Court decisions would have helped to protect African Americans and female workers from employment discrimination. What's the people to do? Slant one way or the other. Oman Radio, uh, at least uh, a while ago, was broadcasting uh, anti-American propaganda. Uh, 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 for an air war of any kind. I don't know how many dozens of times we heard the same thing from the United States Command in Vietnam, which dropped more bombs in a month than had been dropped in all of World War II, uh, flattened and polluted the country, killed tens of thousands of people, had this immense air war superiority, and yet lost the war. It's as if uh, human beings uh, don't, don't count anymore and that they can uh, treat this as some sort of video game with uh, computerized kills and then come up and say uh, we won without recognizing the fact that there's a whole other war waiting to be fought uh, quite possibly down below. I think it's important to talk to be very skeptical uh, when it comes to the presumption of Israeli officials to mount a serious offensive attack against Israelis and liberate the Palestinians as he had promised. The Palestinians will have an enormous effect. I think the Palestinians already feel a letdown, particularly those in the territory. They have forgotten to trade with Israel. They have forgotten to trade with Israel. They have forgotten Australia's Israeli civil defense authorities is actually a program of the area.
that had been exposed by a hundred years of exploitation. I encourage members of Congress to take the steps toward peace with the same passion that led to their approval of force in the Persian Gulf. No, you see, because when they were time, a man would command people to be killed as a killing of his soul and his family and the destruction of the bodies of other people. We believe that this is just another example of really violent, racist aggression promoted by and sponsored by the military industrial complex for its own self-promotion. Thousands of protesters took to the streets.